My study is clinical study to evaluate the value of CT urography in hematuria. Myself, Dr. Nitin Sharma. I am a junior resident from Department of Radio Diagnosis, DMC Jammu. Hematuria is a sign that can arise from the constellation of disorders, ranging from urinary tract infection to invasive malignancy. Our study aim to evaluate the value of CT urography in hematuria. So hematuria is one of the most common manifestations of urinary tract disease, and it can originate from any site along the urinary tract, and it has a wide range of causes, including calculi, neoplasm, infection, trauma, coagulopathy, and renal parenchymal disease. And this makes the differential diagnosis wide and extensive and seemingly disjointed. So the concept is to evaluate both the renal parenchyma and urothelium for variety of causes which can cause this hematuria. So this hematuria can be of two types. It could be microscopic or a macroscopic hematuria. Microscopic hematuria is when it is only apparent under a microscope and the color of the urine is not changing. When the color of the urine changes to brown or red, that is called as a gross hematuria or your macroscopic hematuria. So this study was a prospective study and it was conducted in Department of Radio Diagnosis in Super Speciality Hospital GMC Jammu for a period of six months from Jan 23 to June 23. So inclusion criteria was the patients who presented with hematuria. Exclusion criteria included pregnant and lactating patient, severe renal failure, previous allergic reactions to contrast media. The patients underwent a three-phase CT examination after obtaining informed consent in written form. First phase is an initial non-contrast phase. Second phase is a nephrographic phase, which will be acquired following delay of 90 to 100 seconds after administration of the contrast to evaluate the renal parenchyma. And this is followed by a pilographic phase, which was taken 8 to 10 minutes following administration of the contrast to evaluate the urothelium from the pelvic initial system to the bladder. And this was performed using a 64 slice multi-director row CT scanner. So this is our first case. As you can see, in this case, there is a uh, axial and coronal sections of CT showing right renal HDN due to a right renal pelvic calculus with peripelvic stranding. This is another case uh, showing axial and sagittal CT sections, which shows or demonstrates a heterogeneously enhancing vesicle mass lesion along with an extra vesicle component and concomitant involvement of the right VOJ causing right renal HDUN. This is another case of a vesicle mass lesion which shows heterogeneously enhancing vesicle mass lesion along left posterior lateral wall with ill-defined fat planes with prostate. This is a case of a patient who was hypertensive and diabetic and in this case the patient was presenting with fever and we uh, saw on the contrast uh, enhanced images that there is non-enhancing areas in upper pole of right kidney along with right nephrolithiasis and the findings were suggestive of pyelonephritis. Uh, this is another case where there was a um, trauma after catheterization and there was an intraperitoneal spill of the dye following, cyst uh, following uh, contrast um, administration through catheter from the bladder. This is uh, another case which shows um, directed left collecting system with enhancing pelvic wall and periuretric collection and multiple filling defects in collecting system suggestive of pyonephrosis. This is a case where the patient presented with features of scleroderma um, and on the uh, contrast enhanced images, they were bilaterally heterogeneously enhancing lesion with internal fat content suggestive of angiomyelipoma. This is another case uh, where the patient uh, underwent hysterectomy and following that she was complaining of hematuria and she was complaining of discharge through vaginal remnant and uh, on CT uh, after, uh, during the excretory phase, we saw a midline fistulous communication between posterior bladder wall and vaginal remnant, which was suggestive of vesicovaginal fistula. This is another case who presented to us with hematuria and um, the ultrasound findings were suggestive of ADPKD and on the CT, uh, bilaterally enlarged kidneys with multiple renal and hepatic cysts were seen, suggestive of ADPKD. And this was another case where patient was presenting to us with hematuria and um, the lesion 
which on the non-contrast uh, images was of attenuation of 45 HU. This uh, lesion enhanced after a contrast administration, likely your renal mass. So most common age group for hematuria was 61 to 90 years, which constituted 38% of the study group. And least common age group was more than 90 years, which constituted just 2%. Prevalence of hematuria was more common among males compared to females. The cause of hematuria was divided into urolithiasis, infective, inflammatory, congenital, traumatic, uh, neoplasms, and other miscellaneous conditions. CT urography detected 16 patients having urolithiasis as the cause for hematuria, including renal, POJ, ureteric, and VOJ calculi, and which constituted nearly 38% of the total number of cases. Most of the cases of neoplasm in our study were above 50 years. So these are the tables showing the age-wise um, proportionate distribution of the patients, showing that 61 to 90 year groups were the maximum number of the patients uh, had the findings. Uh, males were more commonly affected as compared to the females and the most common cause were urolithiasis followed by the bladder CA and followed by the normal cases. So hematuria is one of the most common manifestations of the urinary tract disease and it can originate from any site along the urinary tract and has a spectrum of causes including calculi, neoplasm, infection, trauma, medications, coagulopathy and renal parenchymal diseases. And thus, CTography has a very high sensitivity in detecting these causes and appropriate management can be done for the following after detailed uh, evaluation. Uh, thanks. These are the references.